Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a video for you guys. It's been so long. I've done a vlog. This feels really weird, by the way. Oh my God. <laughs> I've done a vlog. A, um, I can't speak. Oh my God. I haven't actually done this in a while, guys. I've been on holidays, you know. I've come back from Spain yesterday and I just wanted to kind of catch up with you guys. This feels really strange. I haven't done this in a week and a half and it feels like i don't know it's brand new so bear with me guys if I'm, if I'm a little bit robotic i'm really just not liking my hair i don't like these bits they're like flipping out i'm really just hating it absolutely hating it look at my makeup it's so patchy anyway so I am doing a video today because I wanted to kind of tell you about my Spain experience. I wanted to show you some things that I've bought as well. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of, kind of, uh, I can't speak. God, I just wanted to have a catch up with you guys because I've up updated, I've updated you in my community tab um, on YouTube, but I haven't really spoken to you kind of personally. Um, I just want to take you through the whole holiday, really. Um, and this feels really weird. I need to stop saying that. And I've bought a couple items as well um, that I want to show you. So, first off, do you like my jumper? It's very Christmas season. It? I really like it. This is from ASOS. It was last year. Um, and I think HRH Collection has this. So that's why I got it. Because I'm such a geek and fun. And I... Um, yeah, so I really like this jumper. It's really nice. I'm just going to check if it's recording, guys, because... Yeah, it is. All I need, all I need now is, if to, is for it to not record, and then I'm screwed. So, yeah, um, I'll have probably put out the Spain vlog before... I don't know if I'm going to put it up well, before or after this, because it's, like, an hour long. Um, It's like an hour long and, um, no, it's like an hour and 20, I think. So I don't know how I'm going to export it. I'm really kind of nervous because like, I don't know if I've got enough um, storage on my iPad because I don't have a MacBook. So I'm a bit like, oh, what am I going to do? But I'll figure it out. So yeah, my holiday, it was amazing. I don't think I'm very tan though, guys. I really don't. I think I've, um, my nose has caught the sun and like bits here, but. I just slightly, 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 not like crazy amounts, but um, yeah, I just had such a great time with Chris. We went to uh, Mija, Mija, I think it's called, Mijas, I think it's Mijas with the accent. We went to Fuenclarola. <laughs> Fuen, I mean, I'm putting all these accents on, no, it's not. Fuen, it's, I think it's Fuen, it's not Fuengerola, it's Fuengerola, I think. I think something like that. Uh, we went to um, Tormolinos, obviously, down the strip of the shops and down all the kind of cool little, um, like, vintage, not vintage, what am I talking about? Like, cool, like, shops and nooks and crannies. I just love Spain. It is such a beautiful place, guys. It's just... You know when you just look at those documentaries on the on the telly, um, you know, those kind of um, old fashioned um, when someone's like an old grandma is like baking bread in some like old like Spanish house, like a little cottage house. It just do you know what I mean? It's very kind of postcard, po postcard is Spanish, whatever that means. It's very much rustic and it's just everything you've wanted and more it's just amazing it's beautiful the videos i've got um in the video in the vlog you'll see how amazing it is we also went to where else did we go we went to this really expensive uh, it was like it was called millionaire's row uh, i think it was something to do with that and where was that where we went it wasn't frank Fangaro frangarola I think it might have been Fungarola, actually. There was another place that we went to. Yeah, it was Fungarola. Because we went to... Um, where else did we go? Oh, my God. Yes, we went to Marbella. So, 
went to Mabe and Mijas, Frangirola, and we went obviously to Tormelinos, and we got like a rent a car. Now, the Spanish people, um, I love them to bits, but they, they take so long to do anything. We were literally in the rent a car place for like an hour, and like, well, I was panicking because the girl was like, I don't think this is, she was like speaking in Spanish, and we thought, oh my God, is everything okay? It was really, really stressful, but they take so long. I don't know whether it's because, I think she said it's because the system wasn't working, but they kind of do like to take their time generally, which I like that. But I think in England, we have more of a kind of strict, I want it, I want it now. Like, because they're so laid back over there, everything's just like great. Do you know what I mean? Um, so where was I going with this? So yeah, there was like um, uh, in Fuen Fangarola, I think it was Fangarola. There was like private yachts out out in the uh, on the sea, you know, kind of uh, packed up private yachts. There was Fendi, there was Chanel, there was Dior, there was everything on the strip. Oh my god, it was beautiful. I we actually got stopped by. Um, I'll actually show you one second, guys. We actually got stopped by this lady that was um, working in one of the stores, and she actually gave us. It's this Origani Body Hand and Nail Perfection Cream. And she was kind of part of this kind of company. Um, and she brought us in and she was like testing out this amazing like skincare that I literally wanted so much. It's so expensive and I couldn't justify buying it. Um, and it was basically a, a skin peel that you rub on your skin and it takes all the dead cells away and you can actually see the cells like the skin like removed from the, from the hand it like peels off it's amazing so i really wanted to um buy that but it's too much money <laughs> and uh we just kind of it was just amazing guys we did so much as well we did so much the hotel wise the hotel was really really nice but um i was gonna say but the food was a bit was a bit repetitive, bit dry, very oily. Everything was in garlic butter. I don't like garlic, as you know, and it was just a bit kind of repetitive. The entertainment was a bit. It was like old people, like working men's club people, like every night, like one like eighty nine year old granddad that was just about to croak, um, like like on the dance floor, like just repeating these songs that they just sang every single night. So that was pretty shit. Um, but apart from that, it was such a beautiful hotel. It was really, really, um, modern. We were just in the middle, in the center of it all. So we kind of got the rent a car. We went to, you know, all these places. We had a chance to kind of sunbathe, um, outside. It was just lovely. It really, really was. It really was. I was going to say something else then, but I can't remember. We went to this amazing bar the first night. It was kind of reminding me like something that like we have here, like a very kind of cocktaily bar. And the lady gave me like a um, what's it? What do you call it? I'm gonna put it on now. Actually, the lady gave me one of these, and I was just like, what? <laughs> I was really happy. So it's kind of a because uh, we were in in a kind of Spanish bar. I'm gonna like an idiot putting this on her. And she gave us one. Well, she gave me one of these, and I was just like, that's so cool. It was the first night. I wish we would have gone back, to be honest, because I got the most strongest drink. It was it was a Mai Tai, I think. It, was it Mai Tai? No, it was something with, like, Guinness. It was it blew me off. Um, that night was, like, the best night we ever had. It was the first night. I think because it was all so new. Um, and then as the nights went on, I just think the entertainment was a bit shoddy. Like, there wasn't really much to do. Like, it was a very... I think... <laughs> I think, well, we found out they were actually shutting down for three months. So I think they were trying to hurry everyone out of the hotel. They were trying to just like be like, okay, they were cutting back on the acts and the food. They were closing down rooms as well. So we didn't, we couldn't have access to all the rooms. Um, so it, was, it wasn't that great on that, that front. But just looking at the amazing scenery and, you know, looking at these places in Torremolinos where we stayed. It was just amazing, guys. It really, really was. I'm just gonna check if it's recording still. 10 minutes, yeah. So I wanna keep this video quite video quite short, guys. I don't wanna kind of ramble on because probably I won't have any room left on my fucking iPad to put it on. I wanna show you some things that I bought. That I bought? That I bought, darling. That I bought. Um, so I got, I wanted to find a kind of white, uh, I love Torremolinos shirt. 
in um Torremolinos, but there wasn't there wasn't any we went looking absolutely everywhere for them um so in the end i kind of gave up i thought do you know what i can't do this anymore i need to find a t-shirt so we went to one shop and they had they had it they had it but it was it wasn't it was on an off center it was um it wasn't what i wanted so we kind of kept looking kept looking kept looking and this guy that works there he showed me this so i had to have it instantly i just wanted something to kind of sleep in that's kind of you know that says Torremolinos, Costa del Sol, um, and it's really really nice. Like it's really thick, and it's a nice kind of material. So I kind of wanted kind of a oh have I fucked that up just now. Was it like that already? I'm gonna have to check on the video. Looks like it's gone weird. It looks weird. Have I touched it? Fuck. Uh, I just wanted to like a bit of a memorabilia for uh, for the you know from memorabilia for um you know my stay and chris actually got um a cap done by um someone on the beach so he wanted a marbella cap but no one could because he kind of collects collects caps every holiday he goes to so we had he had this especially done it says marbella how cool is that love that so yeah um and then i also got myself where's where did i put it got myself some duty-free perfume and it's this this is jimmy chew uh jimmy chew blossom and it was an offer on this i thought you know what i'm gonna buy it because it's 60 mil and it was really reasonable the price so this is it oh my god it's so cute i'm gonna spray it actually guys because Oh, I love that. I really love that. It smells like flowers, like fruit, fruity flowers. I really, really like that. So, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself. And I bought one of these. I really like this. It was a good offer because these were really expensive. It was like kind of a one day offer. Um, God, it's, it smells amazing. And um, after that day, they were going to they, they shop back up in price because these are really Jimmy Choo, uh, the Jimmy Choo Blossom um, perfume is really expensive. I managed to get it on an amazing offer. So this is, honestly, it smells amazing. So th those are the two things I bought. Um, I also ended up getting a pencil sharpener because I forgot mine in England. <laughs> and also, um, what else did I get? That's pretty much it. Oh, I got some nuts, some kind of um, sugared nuts because uh, they have them over there. Like they, they, they make them fresh and the smells too much to not have. Um, so I got some of those and they're kind of sugared. I don't know if I can show you. You probably understand. They're like in a little bag and they're kind of, no, I think they're almonds and they're like sugared. They've got like a caramelized, oh, they're amazing. I remember having them in Italy. And what else did we do? Um, ba, 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 oh, was, I just remember something that I've forgotten. Oh, and I just must say, guys, Burger King is like number one in Spain. Everyone who's anyone has Burger King. I don't understand the fixation with it. Wow, this is strong. I'm liking this perfume. I like a strong perfume. It was just everywhere. People were just going crazy for Burger King. We didn't try it in the end, but everywhere we went, Burger King, Burger King, Burger King. It was just everywhere. And I like McDonald's better, to be honest. So, but um, have I said everything I want to say? Oh, I feel like I've gone on because I'm so excited to kind of speak to you guys. It's been such a long time. Uh, it's not the same vlogging, is it? Like having a one-to-one -one with you guys. I prefer that a lot. I think my vlogging skills are a bit shit as well. I was like, this is, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. Oh my God. Like, I was like having to cut all that shit out. But, what did you do with a drunken sailor? That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I've had a shock to the system coming here because yesterday I was sunbathing in the sun and now it's like minus three degrees. It's fucking freezing. I hope you've all missed me, guys. I, I know you've been watching my videos and, you know, you've been interacting with, interacting with me on in the community tab. I really appreciate that, guys, because we've had such a... I feel like I'm still connected with you when I was away. 
but I'm back now, back to the schedule, back to back to resuming videos. Um, I'm going to put this out. I've got the vlog. I'm going to do some mukbangs. I'm just going to get back into it, guys. So, if you want to ask me any questions um, in the description box about my, my stay, please, please do so. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I really do. I tried to kind of video as much as I could. I know it was, it was kind of, it was difficult. But I did my best. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me telling you a bit about um, my stay. It was just amazing, guys. I would go back in a heartbeat, but I'll probably go back when the hotel isn't shutting down and when it's kind of summertime. But apart from that, it was it was the best holiday I've ever had. It really was. And it was amazing. So, guys, I'm going to go now. I've got to shoot more videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for staying subscribed. We're nearly at 10K, guys. 500 away from 10K. We can do this. I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you in my next video.